now this flower. Again, very nice if you just want to print it out and, and color it in, or what I've been using it for is another kind of shading exercise where I left the center of the petals free but had accent lines come in from the top, varying lengths. Because nature might be quite precise, but it's also a little random. These the center need a little bit of activity here, stippling. And then you can just imagine as the light hits the petals. This interplay of shadow. And lighter places. So these petals obviously are kind of curled over, so no light is gonna reach underneath, which means the piece just below. The doubled over leaf is probably going to be darker. Let's back to our cross hatching here. Or a little counter to the initial line. These I'm just pulling them out in a star kind of formation from the center. And then also coming in from the outside of the petal. And from here we play with adding half lines, making sure that this part underneath curled up leaf is a little darker. Mm. Yeah, let's stay consistent. I'm just two lines. I was thinking about maybe adding some stippling in between as well, but I don't think that's a good idea. We'll just vary the the length of the lines. Just watch me rotate the canvas. Obviously, you can do that with your bit of paper as well. This is something I tell my handwriting and my calligraphy students also. Don't contort your wrist or your arm too much. It's going to hurt. The easiest thing to move is going to be the paper or the pen. So make sure that you have your wrist in alignment with the elbow, that you're resting comfortably on the table. And that way you're not going to injure yourself. Hopefully you're not going to feel too much pain, depending on how long you're doodling in these sessions. And you can tell I'm already getting carried away again. So with these leaves, you can try different patterns. It's just a question of getting something on paper out of your head into your body and you're making something new. You're creating something that wasn't there before. <laughs> 